Jimmy, stop burping. We're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, World Class Wednesday. There you go. I'm Jim McMahon, and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday to all of you in the JFW universe. We are live in Dallas, Texas. Can't get our asses out of Dallas after our run through Money in the Ass the other night in El Paso. And we are here with World Class. And let me tell you, matches like this one coming up here really remind me of World Class back in the 1980s, Jim. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we are starting off with the traditional six-man elimination World Class match. And we have a rough slate of competitors, Ripper Doc Marcel, McDaniel, Skurrometso, Flicky Black, Dave, <laughs> and Humorous Jim. <laughs> yep, Dave, clearly the star of this match. Yeah, yeah, I think all eyes are on Dave in this one. It's hard not to... Uh, it's hard not to really pay attention to Dave. He really, you know, all these other names are so forgettable, but Dave just stays in your mind as you look at this uh, this field of wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. But I gotta tell you though, I think there's one man who stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that's because he's taller, and that's Flicky Flack, the most boring man in the JFW, and my pick to win this match. And you know what a Skuro pick me, or a Gorilla Mezzo pick. That's correct. <laughs> He's fucked. It's a guarantee, tea, Jim. It is a guarantee, but uh, I've got a feeling, I've got a very strong feeling that Skuro Metso is going to win this and get back on the backstage brawl trail that he's so famous <laughs> for. Well, I do think he will be heading backstage in this match pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> we know that the uh, the JFW has conspired against uh, the elite competitors like Skuramezzo for a long time now, really keeping them out of uh, proper in-ring action. Uh, probably hasn't even seen the ring in uh, two weeks or so. You know, it's, it would be a tough ask for him to win this, but you know I'd like to see it. <laughs> and probably yeah. most... I, and probably most of uh, the JFW universe wants to see that too. But I gotta say, Jim, I really do appreciate and respect your uh, your your eye for talent. There, knowing Skirometsu is the best guy in this match, I agree with you exactly on that point. Uh, I just don't think it's his match to win tonight, unfortunately for him. <laughs> oh dear. There he is, what an entrance as always. Yeah, about half of our budget for the show goes on Skuromexo's entrance. Despite nobody really liking him. <laughs> well, except, except, except for you and me apparently, so. <laughs> hey, whatever works. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let his wander out of the backstage. <laughs> it's funny he's in the gorilla position at most than most nights, isn't he, Skuro Metzel? Uh, sure. I think he's probably uh, further backstage, you know, in his uh, in his area doing his things. In his locker room, jacking off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> Just looking in the mirror, jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next out, Flicky Flack trying to create a little drama uh, before the show started between him and Skuro, but there's none to be had. Uh, I think the biggest risk is uh, Skuro not known for a uh, solid attention uh, uh, or, or struggling with his yeah, I'm losing my focus already uh, struggling with attention deficit disorder something fierce uh, one way or the other probably already losing interest in this match with how long it takes Flicky to saunter into the ring doing absolutely nothing but he is finally in the ring and maybe we'll get that little pyro and get him out of there so we can get this match going <laughs> Whew, that, was a, that was a train wreck <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah, and see, that's probably true. Uh, 
Marcel, he's the favorite. <laughs> I don't think there would be a dry eye in the audience if Marcel was able to come away with a win tonight. Has yet to win a match in the JFW. Uh, I'm not going to pick him on this one, though. <laughs> he's one tough lady. <laughs> Surprise, Marcel has not gone, uh, gone after J5 yet. The Lady Destroyer himself. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That would be a feud for the ages, I gotta tell you. Yeah. Maybe once uh, J5 finally sheds that extra 350 pounds of uh, anchor weight and uh, goes off on a solo tour, uh, <laughs> maybe we'll see uh, bigger and brighter things from him. Like, with Marcel McDaniels. <laughs> and there he is sauntering out from the WWE logo for some reason. Dave. Dave. Dave is here and he's here to fight and he's here to fight in the match that is in front of him and that's what Dave does. He goes out and wrestles and wins or loses his matches, Jim. Dave. Dave. That's all you have to say for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> Dave! Maybe don't, you know, say it like you're uh, having sex with him, though. <laughs> Ooh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is ready to go, and he looks like he's got this one all planned out. I don't think anyone can stop Dave. <laughs> Dave. Well, let me tell you, if there is one person who can stop Dave, it is definitely not Ripper Doc. <laughs> Dave. Might not win against Ripper Oh, fuck, I've spoken. Um, yeah, he's got good entrance music, though, hasn't he, Ripper Doc? Might change that. <laughs> Might change it because it's too good for him? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Dave. And yeah, he is, he is Ripper Dog. <laughs> I've got an idea I should tell you about as well. Gorilla, after the show. Alright, sounds good to me. Mm. I look forward to your creative input. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only one in the ring comes over COVID. He does have... Bit of blood on him, though, doesn't he? He's got red on him. Hugh Marissa champ, oh yeah. Pretty sure he hasn't won a match since losing his car. Is that all right? Uh, I can't hear it at all, no. Brilliant. Y'all? Look at BZL saying y'all. <laughs> Very good, J5. Well, when van. you're talking about fighting over a van, you kind of have to use uh, y'all as a contract. <laughs> y'all? Alright, here we and go. Here Look we at this. go. Man, six man match, elimination style. This really takes me back to the 1980s, Jim. Reminds yeah. me of world class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Texas. It's incredible, isn't it? Sure it does. And Marcel sending Skur to the outside while Dave pummels his monkey. And <laughs> Clicky Flack gets stomped on by Rip. Is that what they call it these days? Pummeling the monkey. <laughs> Hey, whatever Dave chooses to do in public, Dave's allowed to do in public, in my books. <laughs> Dave, tossed off by a monkey. Oh. Oh, and big power bomb coming from Flicky Oof. Flack, and Ripperdock looking to get exited real quick, apparently. 
Oh my god, beautiful Everyone suplex. leaving the ring right now. Beautiful suplex from Marcel to Skuro Metzo. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me, is uh, world-class matches, are they false count anywhere? They are not, no. They have to get yeah. back into the ring. <laughs> well, right now, we, we're, we're really making the uh, hard cam operator earn it with this wide shot. <laughs> yep. Just wants to get Dave in. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. Ripper Duck just getting savaged by Flicky. Uh, it's about the same to be said. Oh, maybe not now. Uh, big another ooh, big back body drop by uh, Marcel McDaniels, <laughs> and then uh, Dave is just uh, waiting out this onslaught from Humorous Chimp very strategically. <laughs> and sure enough, he got into the ring because of Chimp's efforts, and uh, now Dave is firmly in control. Excellent script. Strategy by Dave. Dave. Oh, that's a nice little uh, DDT, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Humorous a champ. Oh, the old the oh no! I thought it was a self rope bottom, but it was a Spanish fly. Uh, oh, and here we go. Top rope. The chimp getting up there. What's he gonna do? Oh, it looks like maybe a moonsault. Sure is, and he Beautiful. sticks it. Can you go for the pinfall here? Dave could be in trouble. Dave. Uh-oh. This could be bad for Dave. Oh. And he kicks out at two, but Dave's got to get out of that ring and recover. Yep. Marcel and Skuro back in. Yeah, oh. Skuro <laughs> staggered and sent right back out. <laughs> and Marcel very pleased with himself on that one. <laughs> and now Fuki Flux back in. <laughs> Oh, Skuro taking over, oh, taking look over at Marcella. Look at Ripper Doc though, using the half Boston <laughs> Crab. We've seen that in matches before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that fucking kick. Right to the end. Oh. Now Marcel avoiding Skuro further, and Skuro trades off, and he's going after Dave. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the mega powers have collided, folks! <laughs> oh, and the cannonball on the David! Oh, there! Oh no! Oh my god! Skuro somehow ghosted his way through those ropes! He might. Dave! Dave! Dave no! Dave. Dave! The power of Dave compels you! The power of Dave compels you! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, folks. We saw some magic. This is what happens when an immovable force meets an unstoppable object. <laughs> oh my god. This is what would happen if someone tried to counter Jimmy Jimmy Min Max Tastic's rock bottom with a self rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the game just crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, and Marcel looking to take Ripper Doc oh, wow. out in the ring here. This could be it for Ripper Doc. The big <laughs> spear good. by Marcel. Oh, wow. That, uh, Marcel, I believe, calls that the penetrator. <laughs> <laughs> Only oh gets a two count. <laughs> Not at all, j I love it. <laughs> I think it'll be yeah, Azunga. I don't, I don't think that's ever going to happen, j <laughs> I think Azunga will be the one to do it, to be honest. Yeah. If anyone ever does. <laughs> oh, was that a the uh, river dock intercept the uh, flat hammer there? I think maybe. Uh, maybe I wasn't looking. My eyes were firmly planted on Skuro. And Dave. And Dave. <laughs> oh, oh, Dave. Oh. The, the big counter by Dave, and he's on top of Skuro now. 
And Skurro in some trouble here. Oh, flat camera being set up too. Skurro's probably gonna intercept this. He has a tendency to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, no, it's okay. This is looking right. well, This for was gotta be the end of Ripper Doc. He's already taken a penetrator, and now the flat hammer. <laughs> and Skurro applying a uh, flaccid. Uh, 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 oh my God! Ripper Doc kicks out. All right. Uh, this is the, uh, the the the. The, the, the camel the camel's hump I believe is what we call it <laughs> in the JFW it's no longer a camel clutch because no one can hold a good grip <laughs> oh <laughs> Jim, you were his chip hey, missed and now he's I don't I, I didn't name it Marcel did what can I say <laughs> oh another half boss to grab oh no never mind not a half boss to grab full boss to grab by Skuro countered by Dave <laughs> Dave Dave's singling out a guy in the white shirt in the audience. <laughs> Not gonna punch him though. Oh, bust off. Ripper Doc, just so resilient tonight. Yeah, unbelievable. And Flicky Flack bleeding from the forehead as well. Ooh. Oh, and DDT right onto that forehead. What a showing by uh, Ripper Doc. Hasn't really done much, but he's kicked out of a lot and getting a big move on Flicky there. Could be opportunist. Skuro completely out of it on the outside of the ring. <laughs> yeah, he's having a good rest. Yep, doing that old spread eagle there. <laughs> oh, and now he's back on his feet. Dave taking some savage leg kicks from Humorissa Champ. Oh, Skuro's got a bit of the brain worms, I believe. That's okay, isn't it? As long as he stays out of trouble. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he, I think he has, like, no health. <laughs> oh my god, what a move from Flicky Fun. Yeah, oh, another another uh, moonsault coming on Dave. Dave, Jeez, this could be it for up, And this Dave. could be it for Dave in some serious... Nope, no pin happening. <laughs> Probably a mistake there by uh, Humorous Jim. <laughs> Marcel Lady Spear. Uh, an another Boston Crab by Skuro. Maybe yeah. he's trying to send a message to Jimmy saying, Ha, I don't need one leg to do it. I can do it with two. I <laughs> fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Skuro misses wildly trying to set up a, uh, a pop of power bomb there. He's all sorts of brain worms tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think oh, wow. uh, whatever whatever voodoo curse Dave put on him with that little uh, <laughs> levitation uh, <laughs> maneuver, uh, he is not recovered from it. Yeah, people think Bray Wyatt's spooky when he's got nothing on Dave. <laughs> this could be it for Chimp. He's fucked. Good night, Chimp. Yep, Chimp is out. Pinned by Skuro. Who to thunk? Oh, everyone. <laughs> well, but I, I gotta believe Skuro is on his last legs here. He's taking a hell of a lot of punishment and is like barely moving. <laughs> oh, but when you got a guy like Ripper Doc missing a prone opponent with a punch, <laughs> you never know. You're never truly out of it. Oh, but here we go. Marcel, oh. his big move. Loves to do that running teabag driver. <laughs> oh. oh, and uh oh, uh, good night, Marcel. There's the pop of power bomb. In for the three count, hopefully. There was never any yeah, doubt. And Ripper Doc could be next if no Flicky Flack protecting Ripper Doc, only to get himself. <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> Using Flicky's own move against him. Oh, wait, no, that's yeah. Frostlord's move. Never mind. <laughs> it's Frostlord. Yep, and pinning, the pinning attempt on Flicky Flack. Oh, and fun. just the two count, lucky boy. <laughs> and now here the counter is on, and ooh, and Dave with a counter of his own. Oh, flat hammer being set up, Skuro in big trouble though. Oh. Yeah, this big is probably trouble. it for Skuro. Yep. Oh. No sell, no, no sold that move, no sold the pedigree. <laughs> wow. And that's it for Skuro. Skuro what did I say, Jim? Three. Top three for him at best. Yeah. Or yeah. bottom three. Well 
Yeah, Flicky, what can, you, what can you say about Flicky? He called his shot earlier tonight. Can't take that away from him. Was pissed off at the way I have been referring to him as the most boring man in the JFW. Decided <laughs> to take it out on a completely unrelated wrestler for some reason. But, hey, you can't you can't take it away from him. He completely no-sold the pedigree finisher and uh, got up and did a flat hammer to win it. Shades of Jimmy Minmax Tastic. <laughs> It's almost like Skuro Metzos, a shit wrestler who can't put people away and then gets ended from their finishes. Yeah, yeah, it sure, it sure does seem like someone monkeyed with his stats a lot when he got upset that he won a bunch of meaningless matches about four months ago. <laughs> Do you still believe that? I absolutely believe the record that I see in front of me, Jim. I just call it even what, like I see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another half crab man and man the half Boston crabs getting a lot of love tonight i think a lot of guys looking up to that main event match at money in the ass uh but uh bad news for them that's probably not going to end other matches i think that was a one-off deal because like i said i'm crying foul on uh, the behavior of eab in that match and obviously the uh, all of the shenanigans with uh jimmy minmax tastic taking over Tarsus's rightful shot a whole mess there that needs to be addressed by the upper management. And we have no answers and no word at this stage if anyone's going to come out and do anything about this. So right now, hashtag not my champion is trending in the JFW universe. Uh, and uh, there might be a scattered few who accept Jimmy Fantastic as the EAB champion, but I'm not one of them. And I don't know many fans who are either. Well, I sure do. He won fair and square, didn't he? Uh, he made I mean, EAB tap to a half crab at the dreaded house. I, he's, he's levitating again. Literally nothing that was seen in that in, in that entire uh, in that entire twenty minutes in the final uh, match and what we saw on the floor indicated a uh, fair and square. But uh, <laughs> I I've been suspect of your judgment before this. <laughs> It's Dave, it's Dave versus Flicky Flag is the last yeah, two. Yeah, just oh, I, I believe I called this one. Could this be the night Skuro is proven wrong and Flicky Flack can pick up the win? Gorilla Mezzo, I mean, not Skuro. That's another guy. <laughs> two totally different people, right? Totally different people. Just like the three Jimses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the... Here we go, here well, we go, the spear. It. Dave needs to do something. Oh. No counter on. Oh, I think that might be it for Dave. Flicky feeling it. It could be. Oh! And on! The kick out by Dave. <laughs> it's the three Jim Eagles. <laughs> oh, God, here's the, here's the flag hammer, though. Sure is. I don't think Dave's kicking out of this, too, but... If anyone can do it, it's someone like Dave. No, I did! Dreams do come true. Dave does kick out. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> Just cementing his legacy all on the back, written in vertical purple letters. Dave. Oh, oh huge counter, though, from Flicky Flock. Wow, huge counter from Flicky Flock. Absolutely. Got that momentum shut up. But here comes Dave again. <laughs> and Dave in the ring. Oh, and now Dave looking to <laughs> suplex him. Big stalled suplex. Beautiful on the big man. Dave might be thinking about trying to end this real quick right now. Oh, lovely neck break there. Absolutely. And now, really, really having a good long think about what to do next. <laughs> Dave, a very methodical wrestler, and you can see it in his eyes right now. Dave, not going to waste any energy on things. And here he comes, oh decided to do his finisher, and can he get it off? He no! Does. Oh, he does, he does, and he goes right into the nap pin. Oh. And just the two count this match continues. Those were not brain worms, that was Dave in his element. Thinking carefully, picking his spot, and hitting his move. <laughs> Dave. 
Yeah, Jeff, I'm, it's a weird, it's a weird move. Like, it it looks it like Flicky countered it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's getting the move done to him rather than he's actually picking yeah. I mean, which is how they all work, isn't it? Oh it's no, still... another spear out of oh, nowhere. This and has got to be it. By Flicky, he's not, he might have stunned Dave. What? No, Dave kicks out again. Unbelievable stuff. Dave. <laughs> This is unbelievable stuff from Dave. What a Absolutely. This is the kind of match you get when you put in talent just like Skuramezzo <laughs> and these other guys. <laughs> yeah, this is all done to Skuramezzo. You're right. <laughs> he really set the scene for this uh, Dave Flicky showdown. <laughs> is that it? Oh, my and that's God. it. And your winner is Dave. Once again, the curse of Gorilla Mezzo strikes. Flicky Flag not able to finish off. A very injured opponent. Look at this. The highlight. Oh, the highlight is going into our Poltergeist moment for Dave. The power of Dave compels you, <laughs> and he is your winner to open our show. Dave. <laughs> He's really making a case, Night Demon. Dave really making a case. Uh, to climb up, I believe he's a heavyweight. He Might is. be having that world championship uh, in his sights. Yeah, Dave Tony plays dominant. <laughs> Tony plays poorly. Might be worried about the ascent of Dave. <laughs> he does only have the one two. <laughs> That's all he needs. Dave. <laughs> what a what a victory. The most flamboyant wrestler in the JFW. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> All right, and now world class continues with a triple threat TLC tag match featuring the Norse cunts dressed for business who are trying to make a claim that they should be right at the top of the pack and get that title shot against the fucking rats who they beat just a week ago. And also, for some reason, we are still employing the Unnatural Snackers <laughs> on our Wednesday programming. Yeah, nobody likes Satterfield. He's dragging Not down J5. That being said, J5 and the ladder means entertainment. So <laughs> it's hard to say no to that face. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. He's ready. He's he was this. inspired by performances like Dave's just moments ago. <laughs> Dave. You can tell he'll be thinking of Dave all night. <laughs> oh, that's disrespectful to Dave. <laughs> um, Satterfield is like a budget, uh, God, I don't know, Johnny Five. <laughs> 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 I'm only joking, of course. I'm just trying to be cool to fit in with Gorilla Mezzo. I personally am of the opinion that Satterfield is a great, great person. He was great. I just don't know what happened in his career that he fell off so hard just a couple weeks ago. Oh, he's still a shit wrestler, but he's a, he's a great person. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I, sorry, I didn't mean to say career. I meant personality. He's a shit person. <laughs> And I don't know why. It's just something he did a couple weeks ago. Really, just he fell out of grace with the entire JFW universe and uh, hasn't been able to recover from it. <laughs> oh, they're, they're the wrong way around. Uh oh. I don't know why. I, I'm happened. gonna assume this fuck up was uh, Satterfield's fault. Yeah, no doubt. Probably grabbed the pancakes, didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> Oh dear, and that duck just penetrating the Budios. <laughs> Satterfield really fucked this entire program up. <laughs> Might as well Alt F4 at this point. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what a disaster. At least, at least JFI's gone swimming with his rubber duck. <laughs> yeah, dust. that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I think six feet down under need a title match. Oh, glorious. Thanks very much, Night Demon. That can happen. Oh, in man, the... well, let me tell you something about six feet down <laughs> under making their debut at the pay-per-view. When have you seen that before? And then following it up the very next night, 
with another win. Those guys sure do have a real shot at the Two Heads Championship. But coming out right now, well, no, not right now, after these assholes, <laughs> is a tag team that already sits at the top of the pack. And I think, I think before it's all said and done, we are going to see six feet down under versus dressed for business. And those two are going to have to just figure out who the best tag team is to go on to SummerSlam and win those titles off yeah. of them. Fucking rats. They'll have to figure out who the second best tag team in the JFW is. <laughs> Can't see anyone beating the rats, but I guess if anyone can do it, it's uh, it's the, uh, well, I guess it's Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg Wanger. But of the current ones that we've had, I guess it's the newly formed Six Feet Under Down Under. Yeah, they were pretty great, they were pretty great singles competitors, and now. They surely will make a good team, being as they are both zombie friends forever. Absolutely, unless we completely write off the Norse cunts, they're entering right now. Lao, let's talk about relevant tag teams again. <laughs> the Norse cunts. Jesus. It was not a pre-programmed win, Johnny Five. It wasn't even predetermined. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> J5, it was predetermined the second we hit save on Johnny Five and Satterfield as a tag team. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have the low life snackers, you don't need to meddle with any stats, do you? <laughs> At least have the decency to start doing two uh, two man matches with Muppet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we, for the old free bird rules? We should have some <laughs> ones with Muppet in, but then he is still a singles competitor in the Plum Plum Bluesweight division. That He's is Muppet. true. Generally just a manager. Yeah, it's not it's not any one person, Dave. Most people are saying it. I just I'm just repeating what I generally hear about how Satterfield is a complete shit cut <laughs> and has terrible taste in announcers. Ah, well, that's a good question, Jaws. Yeah, sex is bones and all through. They haven't been seen for a long, old time. Um, I think they probably won't be seen for a long time in the future, to be honest. They've, uh... Yeah, I, I feel like, uh, well, well, both popular, uh, both popular in the, in the tryouts, uh, the JFW universe uh, seems to generally respond better to, um, to people who have a larger social media presence in our chats during the live shows. So we try to generally air the booking towards those folks as best we can. Yeah, well done, well done. Well done. <laughs> Never break kayfabe, Jim. Never break it. <laughs> I thought Mo Plovak had just got lost there, but he was getting a chair and then instantly gets destroyed by Sabatov. Oh, hello, Satterfield. The ones that do, the ones that do turn up just get abused by the dickhead commentator. Ah, oh, Jim, you're not a dickhead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh God, what a church on the Satterfield. What Absolutely. do you think about that, Gorilla? That gave me a stiffy, and that <laughs> made me. <laughs> oh, oh, get it right in the ass. Thank him good. <laughs> 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 a lot of, lot of, lot of chairs flying right now. Yeah, it's, it tends to be a good match for, uh, for like weapon usage. Does the old TLC? Welcome to the show, Tom Schniz, the only man as bad at wrestling <laughs> as Satterfield is at being a person. at the moment, so we'll have to hope somebody gets some ladders out. Oh boy. It's 
Standing by to uh, quit this match. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, an elbow to the uh, helmet of Space Cadet, and not that helmet that you're thinking of, the one on his head, made of like, you know, probably plastic or something, but still, oh, more, uh, more protection. More Plovetch might be thinking ladder time. Yes! He is! Oh, thank Christ! <laughs> and while, while he does get a lot of, uh, a lot of flack for uh, pairing up with uh, Space Force, <laughs> fuck <laughs> I stopped and thought, thought about that too. I was like, no, it's Space Force, not Space Force. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, well, you did, well, well, I fucked that whole joke up, but I was going to use it to uh, long windedly insult Satterfield. <laughs> Just imagine I said something really awesome and Satterfield got burned. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 all sorts of weapons flying around in this one this is uh i mean again not many of them getting used but but they're there yeah oh the left oh, 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 oh right to the crush oh an 11 just savaging j5 with that chair oh <laughs> repeatedly now he misses oh, I get to the... <laughs> good lord oh, oh I get to the... <laughs> <laughs> and the dead drop fan fox plants unprotected out into the outside. Doesn't seem to phase him at all, but a true scare true scared off space. <laughs> Good lord, and now J5 finally looking to get that ladder set up. Oh nope. top rope Johnny. Thinking top top rope Johnny first. Oh and he hits it and just drives his ass in the lemon. <laughs> Making some lemonade there. <laughs> and now maybe thinking about, uh, oh, well, losing the match by doing this move that always signifies the loss of the match. Oh, oh no, this is a what's different move. Different move. Oh. oh, a curb stomp. What happened here? I've never seen him do that. No. J5 with the curb stomp. Uh, the, <laughs> oh, well, had a little bit of a slippy slip on the ladder, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we'd, what we'd like to do actually is now, even though Gorilla Metal's the best commentator there is, we don't want to overwork him and burn him out. So, um, <laughs> the idea would be to have like uh, what's it called, like guest commentators, if we could, occasionally on Wednesday. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, anyone wants to work this trash show, I'm happy to uh, happy to take a take a night off from time to time. But you have to be fucking good because Jim sure fucking isn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Space Force. Well, and here we go. The Fan Fox, one of his favorite maneuvers, the picky up, putty down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, see, I would have said uh, Bezel the Brain Heenan. <laughs> Bezel. Thanks, the large foot. Sometimes one word, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the classic. Dave. <laughs> I, I think more what it is is you're good at taking uh, one word and making or one syllable and making it like three syllables. Oh. Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, more Plovatch has a shot here. Ooh. Oh, and <laughs> saw Satterfield down. Decides to kick him in the gut. I approve of that decision. <laughs> oh, it's oh, basically that's up there like a rock of a fight. J5's right there, though. I don't think this is going to be it. J5 grabbing his ass. Yeah. Just like kind of poking it with his thumb. <laughs> and then just completely <laughs> giving up on it. Uh, but Fan Fox makes the same. He's really gone after his butt. Oh, God, a brutal power butt. Oh, my God, and now <laughs> just smashed into the 
Into the fucking ladders. We uh we go with uh Lance Storm, not uh not 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 that other name, Justice, when we're talking about boring people. Or Flicky Flackworks too. Oh dear no. <laughs> when you're talking <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that, Joseph, buddy hell. Can't mention that name. Well, you don't actually have a title shot just yet, Lemon. But losing this match would not be a good way to claim one. <laughs> There's a lot of furniture, yeah. There really is. This is a mess. An oh, awesome ladder mess. first. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fan box, no. Oh, more flow match. This doesn't look good. And once again, not the first time we've seen Saturday completely missed setting up the ladder. <laughs> Oh god! It takes out one more plover, bro. Fucking hell. Yeah, it sure does. Oh, picky up, putty down. Oh, yeah. Oh, the well, space cadet! Well, we're getting a space cadet's oh. favorite move. Almost trips up the ladder. <laughs> oh, Satterfield, no. Neither for you. <laughs> Satterfield, you dopey twat. <laughs> I think I might be in his head, Jim. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Burp, burp, burp. J5 and uh, Fanfox trying to scissor grind on the outside there. <laughs> oh, dear. Fanfox dressed for tripping. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, look at this. Right oh, onto the ladder. Brutal. Oh no! <laughs> brutal suplex onto the ladder from J5. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably best not to mention him because it's not really funny what he did, is it? At all? Well, no, it's not. Not really. Not funny at all. But you know, no, I shouldn't mention it all, really. And, uh, yeah, there's uh, no signs of this match letting up anytime soon. No, Lemon it's... with the ladder, maybe think it now. Nah, now, nah, Lemon without the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh. Bloody hell, this is brutal stuff from Lemon, isn't it? Sure is. Uh, oh no, the space cadet might might be uh, might be dead after this match. <laughs> here comes a, possibly a rock bottom here by no nope, countered by space, still fighting it. Oh, J five <laughs> hit by Satterfield's ladder. What a hell of a fucking partner. <laughs> what an absolute shit gun of a partner. Yep. <laughs> and then leaving him alone to get missed by Lemon. <laughs> oh no, Lemon! Oh, I thought Lemon was about to put J5 through that table. Yeah, it looked like and it. Now, it? Nope, they're both just gonna fail to do anything. <laughs> oh, that ladder really fucking with their uh, oh dear. <laughs> Hey, oh, finally. there it is, finally. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is an absolute shit show. Well, just like, the, just like Spiramezzo really upped the game in the last match, uh, Satterfield really down in the game in this one. Oh, uh, J5 telegraphed his finisher on uh, more flow match and no moss. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you hello, Flicky Flack. You did spin, you bit, did pin Skuro, but then you lost in the final. You also two. won the match, Dave. but I know one of those is more of an accomplishment than the other. Oh, Dave won, didn't he? Dave. Oh shit, that's right, Dave won. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, again, pinning Skuro versus winning the match, they're about equal. <laughs> Dave. Oh, here we go. Fun oh, Fox is climbing oh, up. Fox. Pin Satterfield prevents himself from fucking up. It looks like he might get out of this one. He's tapped his butt. Completely embarrassing himself. Taps his butt again. 
Tops his butt for the third time. Oh, and that finally, that third butt tap seems to have done it, but then he misses him completely. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh and dear. there we go. Satterfield stringing together an accidental moment of competency. <laughs> What's he? Oh, God, his arms! Oh, God! <laughs> Oh no, not like this! Not like this! <laughs> not like this! Fan Fox, do something! Thank you for fuck's sake! <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be hard for Zenafield to get the. Uh... Oh, oh god, I'm the wrong part of the top of the ladder! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Oh god! <laughs> and the crowd, after the rock bottom off the top of the ladder, anything to get the crowd chanting, this is awesome, involves Satterfield falling from a big height. <laughs> Satter arms. Yeah. It's going to be tough for Satterfield to, 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 get the, uh, to get the pretend money in the bank thing now. That... The RKO by Satterfield. Yeah. He's fired right back up. Oh, his arms, though. Twitching. <laughs> Switching wildly there, maybe trying to relocate them. <laughs> J5 getting confused by this ladder. <laughs> yep. This is a really great match. <laughs> yeah, th this is uh. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, that table there. Now Satterfield is. Oh no! Oh, no. Hey, well done, Jeffo. Oh, now starts the long walk to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought he was just going to go to the back after. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> I know, Johnson. That's exactly what I've been waiting for all that. I know, and Lemon did like loads of Irish whips and none of them to the corner, didn't he? He set that up. Oh, he... J5 alone. Oh, J5 wow. looking to do what Satterfield failed to. Top rope Johnny, the ladder master. <laughs> Space Cadet's and... on his way. Oh, no. Space Cadet and both of the Norse cunts in. Now Satterfield <laughs> also in, though. Oh god, <laughs> five going oh, through. Oh, everyone coming off of this one. Space for them. Yes! Satterfield decides to have a sit at a very critical moment. Not a good decision. And another rock bottom. Oh god, the ladder goes down again. Oh shit, Lemon might be going through. No. No. And now can dress for business, recover, and get this win. It's all up to Fan Fox here. <laughs> I don't see anyone stopping him. No, this is looking good for Fan Fox. Space Cadet's arm pinned under the ladder. Can't seem to get up. And that's it. Is it? No, it maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think they all just kind of worry. You know, fitness is not our number one concern in the JFW. <laughs> Everyone just got a little bit uh, gassed by the end, and there you go. Dress for business. How can you deny them? <laughs> there was a lot of brain wounds at the end. At the end? <laughs> yeah. Okay, throughout. <laughs> Particularly at the at the end because it, J5 kind of fucked it all up, didn't he? He was interfering with more blowback and then with Space Cadet. Yep. Oh dear me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed that one. I thought it was entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> I I will admit that I also very much enjoyed that match. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I <don't> mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. All right, and here we go a six man elimination match. This really reminds me of world class back in the 1980s, Jim. Absolutely. We should see it every well, time. Well, comes out. well, well, it's a five man match and bread match. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Five men and a fucking Friday fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Team Walker. World heavyweight, no, ex-world heavyweight champ in the house. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. The former champ. Just Joe. Haven't seen him in a while. He's got a smile on his face like he's ready for action. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Thor for a while either. And, uh, it's yeah, nice to absolutely. See, nice to I'm see a, PTK a... back in singles action, isn't it? For a, for a one-off. I like that we can have the half of half of tag teams in these matches, can't we? No problem. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. But yeah, I think we'll make these three matches in future. More than four. And then have three matches and maybe a, a what's it called, you know, like a promo. Yeah. PTK, PTK. Uh, pro promos adding arguably more work to the low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why maybe I like, don't have to have one every week, but if there's something appropriate, we can add a promo in if we want, can't we? That's the thing. Because you can't oh, take prepare yourself, you Jim. It's been a while. I don't know if you can handle this. Oh, baby. Here we go. Are you Just ready? Joe. Causing all the fires, just like a good firefighter. And <laughs> hello, Joe. <laughs> God, it's so good. <laughs> it's the best. I don't think J, 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 I don't think Jimmy's seen a tree in a long time. That ball's going outside. <laughs> oh dear. Trees. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you well, I saw a nice picture of a tree on the internet today. <laughs> my uh, my fiance's name is Tree, so I'm trying to bite back a bunch of jokes that none of you would actually understand without that. Oh <laughs> 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 god, what's this? There he is, cocky. <laughs> Picture perfect man himself. Fight! Be in it. <laughs> Connect, dog. Oh, I just realized I should have put Wolfpack in this match, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wolfpack versus Fault Force. <laughs> Some boiled egg. Yes, Flicky. This is what's going on. Tree? Like, is that a surname? Nope. It's a name. And, like, it just the first name is Tree. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Dave. Ah, oh, man, my favorite part. I don't think I meant just. Wow, my brain stopped. Can he hit the gum this time? I'm always worried about it. Oh, he nails it every time. So good. And then he just tears off all his clothes and wrestles in a piss stained diaper for some stupid reason. Because <laughs> he wants to. All right, here comes Beaks War Gaming. Seems like a nice dude. Oakley is a sunglasses, not a tree. And oak is a tree, sad it feel. But uh, you'll get there. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my, my clones are coming next week, Lemon. I can't wait to get them in the ground. Here he is. <laughs> the former Flim Flum Poozerweight champion by default because he's got a French name. <laughs> Le Bread Mask. <laughs> the Friday fuckboy. But it's Wednesday night. So we ain't fucking anything. <laughs> You might just be giving Skurometsu a hand backstage, and that's about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to chat on the Willow conversation. How did everyone not know that? Well, because he might have thought it was like Zelda. They weren't dwarves, J5. <laughs> they were, um... What are they called? Pex? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Or, well, that was that's what uh, Mad Mardigan called them. They weren't actually called Pex. They were called uh, something else. J5's got IMDB open, I'm sure you can tell us. <laughs> and here comes PTK, dancing his way out, looking a little lost without... His dance, dance, revolution partner, Zetok the Dane. But if anyone can carry a room, it's P T K. No, they're not. They're not fucking dwarves. They're something else. God damn it! <laughs> I remember Peck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they called them Pecks, but they were actually called. Someone's gonna get it by the time I actually get it now. They were like time traveling people, weren't they? Sorry. Nelwins! They were called <laughs> Nelwins. Uh. <laughs> people have reduced height! <laughs> Vertically challenged <laughs> pets. <laughs> 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 yeah, indeed, like that it was. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Tom Brady. Tony plays poorly. <laughs> was was uh, Will all set in Tampa Bay? Was it? Well, that's all the time we got for tonight, folks. <laughs> My name is Gorilla Mezzo, that's Jimmy Fantastic, and you can all fuck right up. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Oh, well, yeah, I was just making the joke of Time Bandits. I couldn't think of the movie Time Bandits, otherwise, otherwise I would have said, weren't they Time Bandits, and everybody would have got it. Then I was making a joke, but instead, I couldn't remember the name of the fucking movie. <laughs> See you on Friday when Thor reaches the ring. <laughs> Good day, Cocky. I may have upset a uh, co commentator. I don't know if he was joking about quitting. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh dear! I was only joking, Gorilla! <laughs> Do you remember a few days ago when he said, I'm not bothered by the Tom Brady stuff anymore? <laughs> Maybe it was a bit too soon. Maybe he spoke too soon. Oh dear. Well, here's a match. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like he's joking, does it? Oh dear, right. Well, no more, no more Tom, no more Tom Brady stuffs.
<laughs> yeah, Basil, yeah. In, uh, in future, I won't escalate the situation. I'll attempt to deflate it. You motherfucker. You <laughs> motherfucker. I was just about to unmute and take you out of your timeout, but you're getting another two minutes. <laughs> I just thought man I had to do it. <laughs> oh I know right Tony. I'm gonna be I'm a Tampa Bay fan. They've got shit outfits now though. If they still had if they still had the one where they had like the pirate with a knife in his teeth and that, that was a great outfit. And the fucking creamsicle uniforms. That was, they were brilliant then. But now they're horrible with the fucking, the fucking dark fucking burgundy and silver and all that kind of shit. They look absolute wank. But it's, they've got a fucking pirate ship in the, they've got a pirate ship in the stadium which is like cool as fuck, isn't it? Like, that's amazing. Thanks, Bezel. And you know what happens to pirate ships when they don't have lighthouses near rocks? They run aground and everyone on board dies. But Gillette Stadium has a fucking lighthouse, so you can fuck yourself and your stupid Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> ah, welcome back, girl. <laughs> oh, of all the things that have happened tonight, Flicky Flack announcing that he's a Jets fan is probably the least surprising thing that I could possibly have imagined. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've got when you when you when you when you when you strive for mediocrity, you present mediocrity, folks. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Just Joe. <laughs> oh my god! Oh dear. So something's happening in the ring. Is anyone? No one's been eliminated yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a red. That's a red flag. We'll yeah. pull that. Yeah, S Satterfield, your 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 debts have been paid, my friend. It's now Flicky's turn. Oh, dude. Oh, oh wow. wait, wait. Who's on? Who's on the back of that? Uh, who's on the back of that jersey? You just got butt fumble written on the back. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wayne wow. Is it a Wayne Corbett jersey, Flicky Flag? <laughs> Revis. That was the last time they had a good player, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but anyone ever, anyone who's going to wear a Revis jersey will just get a Patriots one. <laughs> it is Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> I will say this, if it was a Curtis Martin, if it was a Curtis Martin jersey, I would have been like, all right, fair enough, Flicky. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, wow, look at that huge uh, choke slam. Anyway. Oh, yeah, well, one of those two teams has a quarterback and a tight end, Tony. The other team does not. <laughs> Uh, I would, I would probably, I would probably increase those odds a bit because um, I don't think there's going to be a football season next year. So yeah, that's just me. And I mean, to be fair, Bezel, Mark Sanchez would find trouble finding a Sanchez jersey if it was right fucking in front of him, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, no, no city in America is no, no, no sports fans in any city in America would benefit from all sports being canceled for a year more than than Boston because the Red Sox are just shaped up to have a, just the most tragically disastrous year of, 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 of probably my lifetime. And, though obviously the Patriots not having to play for a year would be pretty lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, fuck, fuck the Celtics. I mean, they, they're, they're probably not going to win this year, so whatever. No one cares about <laughs> hockey. God. I mean, I could do it, Tony. I just wouldn't be able to pay you if you. <laughs> <laughs> the Bengals. Good lord, Tony. Two. I mean, they they shouldn't be two hundred to one. They should be like ten thousand to one, shouldn't they? So it's a good bet to take if you can take it multiple yeah. times and stuff, and offset off lay off the bets and everything. 
But you can't, I it's forget. too risky. Like, you can't do it because I couldn't pay you. <laughs> if you want. Oh, well, it would only be £200, pound, wouldn't it, actually? It wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hockey it. doesn't count in America. And, uh, I think the Celtics are okay, but I don't... From what I've heard, because I don't really follow basketball, I don't think they're good enough to win this year. And everyone's just going to get sad about that, so it might as well just shit can it now. Yeah, they always do that. They always do that in, like, betting. It's it's crazy how, how yeah. awards they give when they're just never going to happen. Because you'll, because you'll always... That's the thing, though, is, like... You'll always find someone who will put a hundred dollars on their team. So mm -hmm. like two hundred to one odds on a team that has no chance of winning it versus five thousand to one odds are is exactly the same to the guys taking the bet. Yeah, they don't exactly, want to risk yeah. giving you more money when you're when you're not betting because you think they win, you're just betting because you think it'll give you good luck. Oh yeah, I, I understand you know? the logic behind it of course, but it's really incredible that anybody would bet on it once they're not getting did, any value whatsoever, isn't it? Did you know that there's some European based sports books that do wrestling lines? Oh yeah, yeah. It's but, insane to me. I used to run a, uh, I, 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 uh, a actually well this is going to track nicely with all the work i put into the jfw <laughs> uh right before i went as a freelancer this match doesn't matter by the way we've written it off already. <laughs> <laughs> right right before i went uh when i left my last company where i had a full-time job working in the biotech industry i had to give four months notice to leave and keep all my stock options uh which was insane but i did so for four months after giving notice, all I did was spend eight hours a day writing the rules for a fantasy wrestling league. <laughs> um, and all we did was bet, bet on pay-per-views for our fantasy rosters. And it was just this, the most, it was like Calvin Ball, if you, if you know Calvin and Hobbs. <laughs> it was the most insane thing ever. But um, I had to get very familiar with the European uh, sports betting line so I could set my own odds and my own prop bets for all of the pay-per-views. <laughs> we didn't bet real money. We bet fucking fake money because I wasn't going to do that. But, yeah, fair enough. Uh, it was insane to me because, like, the odds were just, like, you would look at them and they would always, they would almost always predict every pay-per-view. So yeah. you're like, what the fuck? Like, if someone has, you know, three to one odds and someone has eight to one odds, the three to one always wins the match. Yeah. So clearly the WWE is tipping their hand here. <laughs> like, off, often off what happens rest. is the odds like will change, you know, right before it starts and that's when you yeah. know who's going to win kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's usually like, usually if you were actually going to place a bet, you wouldn't want to do it until you knew what the odds were within the last 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my, when when I've watched like you know the fucking pay per views, the last few pay per views I've watched, the people there are into the betting and that, and the, so like we knew that Randy Orton was going to win the uh, Rumble and stuff, um, and you know, Thingy was as well, the bit Dreamy Drew, just because the odds had changed, so it was it was obvious that Drew McIntyre was going to win, it was obvious Randy Orton was going to win. I would rather he hadn't looked at the odds and told us, but there you go, one of the pricks did look at the odds and it's like, it was rubbish. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure they will do Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't actually looked at any sports betting this year. I don't really do it. I've done like individual games of, of NFL betting, like when I was on a trip to Vegas over the weekend. But like, I've never, never done many prop bets or long term bets or anything like that. I've done some bets in my lifetime. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, there was the the best bet that you could have ever put on was betting on a uh, what's he called Undertaker delivering a tombstone to Shane McMahon in that you know the match that they had. <laughs> yeah. Because the only way it wasn't happening was if one of them had like you know if the match ended due to actual injury, wasn't it before it happened? Or I always did like a series of prop bets. Oh no, the Friday fuckboy kicks out. Uh, I always did a series of uh, prop bets, and like one of them that I would always in include was the uh, the Spanish announce table gets uh, gets destroyed. <laughs> and let me tell you, if you're really not excited about a pay per view, but you have fictional money bet on whether someone's going through a table, it's so incredible, Jim. It, it, it just like triples the quality of the show because every time anyone goes anywhere near it, you think it's time. 
And then what happens is someone will get suplexed off of it into the American announce table and the prop <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, big Kev tapping out of the, uh, the, what's uh, it ju Just quietly, Le Bread Mask is in the top three right now. Yeah, the Dingo Deathlock, that's it, isn't it? The Dingo Deathlock, putting an end to K-Fog. Safety being the first score in the Super Bowl. Oh, that 2000, uh, 2007 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was 2007, the Patriots undefeated season. The first, the first score in the Super Bowl was the, uh, the safety on Tom Brady. Mm. On that bullshit intentional grounding call. Fuck it. He got a lot of those stupid calls. Oh, wow. LeBred Mask in the final two. I know. This, I don't know what's happening here. Clearly, I wasn't paying enough attention. LeBred Mask <laughs> almost just won this match. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Oh, this this oh, is uh He's hitting it with a dingo death this lock. Could be it. Now instantly counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I thought that was it. The red mask could could come out with his first victory in the JFW, I think. <laughs> nah, he has won one, but yeah. He did? Yeah. yeah. Must have been a, a random nothing match. Yeah. Oh, low, the low shot with the foot there, though. <laughs> I know you're yeah, like, you did? <laughs> I'm, sh I'm, like, literally shocked to hear that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like, one and six or something, I think. Well, the internet belt doesn't count, Tom Schniz. We're only talking JFW here. Yeah, one and six he is. He won, um... He won on the Stan Firm on the 17th of... January, February, March, April. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, Jim, those those stats are a little bit meaningless because they don't count Mike wins, so it doesn't really track a full career of a wrestler or in any way, shape, or form highlight their quality and success in the JFW. <laughs> Check but spot. we don't need to explore that any further. LeBred Mask is in right now. The big knee, and he is taking over this match. Can he get in there? Can he finish Cocky off? and get his second win. Oh, he's going top rope too. Oh boy. Big maneuver coming from the Plim Plum Pussyway. The he shooting star him. press staggered a little bit, doesn't go right into a pin. That could be a mistake. Hangs him. Oh. oh no, the big kick, look at this. This is something from the red mask. Is he gonna do it? Oof. No. Maybe not. <laughs> no. Cocky buys himself some time to recover there. <laughs> you feel, feel pretty sour, though. Oh, dear. <laughs> Flicky flack. That Flicky joke flack, is... your humor's a little wry there. That joke is almost as bad as the Jets' offense. <laughs> No offense. Same as the Jets. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, and Flicky, er, uh, wow, fuck me. <laughs> the red mask. The plim the plum plex. Could this be? No, he doesn't hang on to it though for the pin. Interesting choice. Yeah. He's done it. Unbelievable. Wow. The red mask is no longer. Once a bridesmaid, I don't, I don't know. Hi, <laughs> <Friday>, Flicky boy. <laughs> well, congratulations to Labret Mask, a hard-earned match that no one was paying attention to until the bitter end. Yeah. Yeah, but you know something happened. If you believe in yourself, Tom Schniz, that's all you need. Yeah. I mean, some wins would help because, you know, this is your career. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's our show for tonight, right, Jim? Or do we have another one? We've got another one. We've got the main event. Oh, good. I thought that was the main event. No. I'm going to change right. it to three matches in future. Um, but we do have a main event. 
and it is a friendly rivalry match between oh, right. Calcium and McNaughton. Yeah, Calcium and McNaughton, Scotch Milk getting a lot of flack from the uh, from the announcers, from the fans, kind of from everyone for their miscommunications in the ring and their struggles as a tag team. Uh, Wendy, uh, Calcium's wife and McNaughton's confidant, uh, <laughs> has come out and, and declared that she can put all these rumors uh, to bed by putting these two men in the ring together and showing off their just their true friendship as they have an honorable fight between two best friends and uh, there's no other stakes involved here. Nothing else going on behind the scenes. Just two guys that want to showcase their skill set and prove that they belong right where they are in the JFW. Yeah, well said, Gorilla Metal. Brilliant. Going totally as planned. Just like a snap to Mark Sanchez. <laughs> I will say, as dumb as the butt fumble was, it's not the dumbest play I've ever seen run against the Patriots. Ah, yeah. You, 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 know, you know the punt I'm talking about, right? Yes, of course, yes. <laughs> oh, God. The Colts... The fucking Indianapolis Colts and their stupid fucking punt. <laughs> just the just just the most like perfect example of how dumb other teams are and how in their heads the Patriots are. <laughs> yeah. oh, they've got the they've got the tag they've got the tag <laughs> entrance. <laughs> yeah, I say Wendy's biceps might put uh, calcium's to shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know he likes the uh, I know he likes the muscle ladies, so I thought I'd give I thought I'd give Wendy some muscles for Oh, did, did Bezel send us a clip? Oh, this, is, this is like my favorite thing ever. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the announcers don't know what to do. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like they're reacting to like a, a, a 2k19 fucking brain worms <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thomas what in costume. the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah I remember that yeah, yeah it was pretty bad uh, I thought, yeah, if they had had a coach to go along with Manning, they could have gotten to the Super Bowl and lost more because Manning was pretty much a perpetual loser. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, is that official, Satterfield? If you're, if, if that is not 100% official and you're getting my ho hopes up, I'm going to fucking sh destroy your career in the <laughs> game. <laughs> it's official. Because whole... Is it actually official? 100% official? Yeah, yeah, they're making a third se season on Netflix, yeah. They already made the third season. You All right, well, then it's coming to Netflix. It. They just won't distribute it now. All right, well, then, yeah, it's coming to Netflix. Yeah, then. yeah there's rumors that Netflix might pick it up, but have those been confirmed yet? Ah. Uh... I'm ahead of the game on this one because I fucking love that show. Mm hmm. Here we are, the two, the two friends, um, going at it. And a lovely upskirt shot of McNaughton. <laughs> All right, you have been redeemed. You've been redeemed, Satterfield. There's not a lot in. There's literally no language in that article that I haven't read previously. But all of the other places I read them were like. This is the best case scenario, but it's not official. They are, are saying Netflix announces, so if I find out that's not true with blackbeltmag.com, <laughs> we'll see. But if so, that would be glorious, because man, that show's good. <laughs> no, I, I love it. I'm not, I'm not really one to be like, oh, I love dumbass stupid shit. It makes me happy, other than 
you know, JFW. <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't have a leg to stand on here on that, but uh, yeah, no, it's. A, I think it's a really good show. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's you know, it's it's a uh, a ridiculous expansion to the Karate Kid universe, but they don't make it a big laughing like it's not a farce. You know, it's like quite well made. Yeah, it was it was a bit farcical to be honest. I, I watch. I've only seen about the first four or five episodes. Uh, I mean, it was yeah. a bit farcical, you know. But it's not like to. taking the piss. Like it's making its own show. It's a it's a it's a silly premise. But all of the Karate Kid is a relatively silly premise. Of the first yeah. movie. No, I thought it was good. I thought I really enjoyed it. But it wasn't. It was certainly a bit farcical when it when he's. But like, I guess more what I mean is it's not like it's not like a it's not a I mean it's not a comedy. You know, like it's not like like it's an actual like show. Like you, yeah. you should take it seriously as it takes itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, oh God! Look at that! What a punch! Yeah. yeah. I mean, I really, I really enjoyed it, but uh, it's finally time to watch all the episodes. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's not. I mean, there's not that much. There's what, like ten episodes a season? I think. It's not too bad. And then there's well, I guess I guess there's thirty then. <laughs> well, there's twenty. Oh, because the third yeah. isn't out yet. It's just yeah. yeah. I never actually saw that flicky. I heard it was way better than anyone was allowing it to be. Um, it just seemed kind of unnecessary. Is that the one like it, with... Uh, if it's good, it's good. I just I never bothered to see it. Is that the one with Will Smith's kid in? Yeah. Okay. It's just like... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of, like, remaking a story just to remake a story rather than like telling a new story and expanding a world yeah but oh now, I, from what I've heard that is if, if you go into the Jackie Chan version and just be like I want to watch the Karate Kid and I want to see it with different people and different camera work than I've seen previously it's quite good <laughs> I just didn't want to see it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, so and uh, McNaughton going to the top rope here. Oh, baby, look at that. What the fucking... big splash, the piling on. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, when when he's, when he's taking note of McNaughton's ability to pile on there, a and good he's look doing it again, giving her the, the kilt upskirt, and she's taking a look. Yeah, she's having a good look. Oh, and the God, big, the big elbow, elbow drop, and that's, that might be hit for calcium, two huge tough row moves, and McNaughton in for the pin. Oh! No, oh, and the last second kick out by Calcium. Whoa. Oh, he's tuning up the band? Yeah. Oof. I tell oh, you the what. big super kick. That's got to be it. He Calcium out on one, face. two, three. And look at that upskirt. And McNaughton wins this easily. And Calcium emasculated right in front of his wife, Wendy. But it doesn't matter because these two guys are a well-oiled machine, according to Wendy. And they really know how to tag team, uh, according to Wendy. So I think everything's looking just fine for Scott Mills. And I don't think Calcium's the guy to be bitter after a loss. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to uh, refute that one, Dave. Dave. <laughs> Alright, Jim, that is it for whatever the fuck this show is called now. World Class. World Class, it reminds me of the World Class back in the 1980s. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to head back to the 2020s on, for some ungodly reason and get on with my life. So I am Gorilla Met. So thank you for having me as always, James McMahon. And I will see you all on Friday for Friday Stand Firm. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla Met. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>